This young woman, who asked that we not identify her, says she's known James Fields for years. We pretty much went through um, elementary through high school together. Thumbing through Cooper High School's 2015 yearbook, Fields' classmate says he started withdrawing from others during their freshman year. Maybe he was trying to distance himself from things that he didn't agree with. The classmate says as time passed, Fields seemed increasingly drawn to white supremacy. She says proof of that could be found in drawings Fields did. It was really weird to look over and see somebody like drawing swastikas on things. It's just, it's kind of shocking. It, you don't see that every day. You, you, we went through a war. We fought this. We, we sent people to end something like this and not to perpetuate it. Just like Fields' classmate, Eric Schuster is also trying to come to terms with a tragedy in Charlottesville. I was shocked. Schuster lived next to James Fields' mom, Samantha Bloom, before she moved to Northern Ohio. Last night, Bloom country. told reporters she didn't know her son had taken part in a white no, nationalist I rally. I tried to stay out of his political views. He Schuster says Bloom, whose name is still on her old mailbox in Union, never espoused any radical views to him. But you couldn't ask for a nicer person, nicer neighbor. I mean, I helped, you know, she's wheelchair bound. But and I'd help her with her groceries and stuff in and out of the car and all that kind of stuff. But um, this came as a total shock. Well, at this point, police and educators are scouring Fields past for any signs pointing to his alleged involvement in Saturday's tragedy in Virginia. I do know FBI agents uh, spent some time inside Cooper today, but the dist uh, district and those agents are not talking about what they were looking for. Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. Todd, wondering, when you talked with Fields' classmates, she mentioned drawings of swastikas. Did she report that to officials? Yeah, Sheree, the classmate said she and others were alarmed by the drawings and may have said something once or twice about it, but it's not clear tonight if there was a formal report filed. I spoke again today to Cooper's principal, Mike Wilson. He said any time a troubling development is brought to the attention of district leaders, they do their best to address it as quickly as possible. Sheree. Right.